governors, international leaders, ambassadors who fear God yet operating in the secular world. How many are looking for them? Imagine the day the head of state of a nation is a spirit filled, committed child of God. Imagine the day, most importantly, the legal system of the world is manned and controlled by people who are God fearing. Do you think wrong laws will ever be in circulation? Mm -hmm. Our lives are controlled by politics. And we thought church means we should stay religious. Mm -hmm. Jesus came in to introduce his government, and that government rules through you. Bottom line of what I'm saying before I go detail is that you are called to become something useful on earth right here. You understand me? And whatever you are called to do, you are supposed to dominate in that area. Whether you are a business person, an entrepreneur, a teacher, whatever that calling is, you are supposed to hold in it. And it is the responsibility of the church to prepare us for the work of ministry. Ephesians 4, 8 and 13. So I want to give you vision, mission, value, services of this church. Um, we were formerly called PCG Church. Say PCG. I don't like the word Pentecostal. It often carries a negative meaning. And let me remind you, according to chronological records, it is exactly today that the Holy Spirit came on earth. Ten days after the ascension of Jesus. Today also coincides with the six months of my baby's development. She's six months old today. Praise God. This thing is walking by law. Amen. So one thing you should expect to is the diverse move of the Spirit of God. How about you leave home the way uh, Madam Sheta sang here, activated in your inner man. Maybe for those of you who are called to sing. Pentecostal simply means of the Holy Spirit, but the word pent means empty. So when we hear Pentecostal, it actually means the Spirit of God present. Praise God. Now, this we must understand a few things. May 22nd, these ministries were founded, and the church is the lead ministry right here. It's about the dominion mandate. Come on, say dominion. dominion. It means rulership, it means influence.